Yeah, thank you very much for the nice introduction. I heard that I uh, had some COVID issues here. I had the same problem three weeks ago, so I know what he's going through here. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to be invited for a second time here for this coach clinic. And I remember that last year when we had this for the first time that uh, I said, okay, I really hope that we can make this a traditional event and we can make this uh, an ongoing thing. And I'm excited to be here for a second time. And it looks like we're headed that direction uh, to make this a tradition. And I think it's, it's very important, especially for, uh, for a country like Austria or, or a city like Vienna, which is, as you know, my, my home city and the city uh, I still have my home base in, the city that I'm really uh, emotionally uh, connected with still, uh, to have opportunities for, for coaches to connect, uh, to have this um, possibility to, to, to improve. And I think this is, uh, for us, one of the unique chances during the summer to, to connect with other coaches, to hear different ideas. I think uh, the setup is great, so congratulations to, to the organization. You get some uh, views from from European standpoint of basketball. You had some, some views from, from the American standpoint of basketball. So I think uh, having more uh, different basketball cultures is, is always something which is very interesting uh, to, to pick from and, and to choose from. And uh, I'm in this this business now for, uh, I'll be going into, into my 24th uh, season now as, as head coach uh, of a first division basketball team. And uh, when I look back or watch games from like 20 plus years ago and compare this to today, it's like almost like a totally different sport. It's uh, the, the game develops, uh, it's an ongoing development and, and we as coaches are damned to also develop. Uh, we have to improve, we have to uh, stay updated uh, every year with what's going on in, in the basketball world. And uh, the, the development is, is, is different. You have on, on one side where uh, we're having, let's say, tactical uh, parts that come and go and then come again. I think one of the great examples is the flex offense. Uh, flex offense was uh, very modern in, I don't know, late 90s or, or even early, early 90s. Uh, and once the 30-second shot clock came, it totally disappeared just to come back again lately. Uh, if you look at, at EuroLeague, if you watch the, uh, the playoffs in Germany, uh, you saw the resurrection of the flex offense all of a sudden. And not only the, the one screen, the one cut, but the whole, the whole thing. Uh, and this is just one example of how certain situations, they just come and go. It's like our clothing. You have the baggy shorts and then everybody runs around like, like this uh, and then it, it becomes baggy again. It, it doesn't mean that uh, just because it disappears that it doesn't come back. Uh, last year I had the topic of, of post-up, uh, post principles. What do we do if the ball goes inside? And I started by saying, well, that the post-up almost disappeared uh, and it's still, is not as existent as it used to be 10 or 15 or maybe 20 years ago, but it's coming back. Not necessarily from the five men, but it's coming back. Uh, so you have those, uh, those situations. Uh, you had the discussion about the mid-range jump shot. Uh, one of the, I think, most obvious uh, shots that seem to disappear in, in the last couple of years. Uh, so now I said post-op disappeared and mid-range jump shot disappeared. Now you watch Bayern Munich in the finals of the uh, German BBL. Uh, they were one game short, game five, against uh, Barcelona to make the top four in the uh, final four in the EuroLeague. And they based their offensive uh, philosophy on mid-range shot and post-up. So just because it's not common, it's not modern, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna come back and that it's not worth talking about. And I think the, the mid-range shot's a very good example. I mean, the, uh, the question was right, uh, what do you do against drop coverage if you totally forbid the mid-range shot? Well, not much. Right? So in certain situations, you have, to, you have to teach it. And I think we have to understand as coaches that things come and go. Uh, the other thing that I think is very uh, obvious and you hear it more and more uh, is the fact that we talk about positionless basketball. So the players 20, 30 years ago, um, compared to today, uh, today the players have to do totally different things. They're more athletic, uh, they're more versatile. Um, they, and they have to cover more of those traditional positions. When you compare a, a, a three-man, uh, let's say 20 years ago, a three-man was two minute four, good shooter, straight line driver. That's it, most of the time. Today, this would be a four-man, right? And the, the, the five-man um, today, 
it's not necessarily a two meter 15 guy. Uh, it's got to be athletic. He got to be athletic. He has to have long arms. Got to be a lob target. Um, maybe even stretch the floor. Uh, so the time where you say to the big guys, "Don't shoot," they're long gone. Right. So um, sometimes Jokic, very good example. They're like point centers. Right. The four man is more of a, a point forward right now. So the whole thing, the whole thing develops and. Um, I talked about the, the tactical elements that come and go. I mean, right now, since I would say uh, almost eight, eight years, uh, the pick and roll is the main element uh, that's used in, in modern basketball. So uh, having the pick and roll as one of the main elements together with having players who are more athletic, cover more positions, uh, the tendency to defend that pick and roll situation goes more and more into switching. So you will see a lot of teams switching the pick and roll. The defensive side of switching pick and roll was my main topic last year. I'm sure everybody remembers. Uh, we talked about uh, how we want to switch, how we want to uh, trap out the, the mismatches, how we want to uh, deal with this. Now, uh, this year, I want to go to the offensive side of uh, the, the, the switching aspect. So pick and roll, the opponent switches against me. Um, where can I? Uh, create my my advantage, right? So my uh, topic today: switch, pick and roll, offense, um, attacking the switch and attacking the switch inside and outside. Um, guys, please give me the the two guards and the and and the two bigs real quick, and one ball, please. So um, obviously, ideally, my. My switch situation in, in, in pick and rolls have red on offense, red on offense, red on offense. If I have a switch, we will talk about this in a, in a second, how we do it. Uh, use the ball screen. Use the ball screen, just simple pop. Okay, we got that switch, roll in. Okay, we have two mismatches. I think that's very, uh, very obvious. We have one mismatch outside. And we have one mismatch inside. Now, which of the two do I prefer to attack? I cannot answer this question for you. This really depends on your personnel and this really depends on where do I see the bigger advantage. Let me take a step back. When we talk about advantages, um, the purpose of every offense is to create an advantage. Right? So the purpose of everything that I do in my offense is to create an advantage. What does that mean? I want to create a situation that cannot be covered one-on-one -on -one anymore. I want to create a situation where I draw a second defender. In the moment that second defender is on me, I have the advantage from that moment on, it's only ball movement and spacing. So what I need to teach my players, number one, A, is how do we create advantages? This can be on fast break, numerical advantage. This can be isolation one-on-one. -on -one coming again, right? it has disappeared, now it's coming again also into European basketball, more and more isolations. This can be pick and roll situation, as we'll talk about here, this can be turnout screens, this can be, this can be anything. As soon as you force the defense to send a second defender to the action, you have an advantage. So that's number one, which I need to uh, teach my players. The second thing I need to teach my players is now we have the advantage, the purpose of the offense is gone. I'm not running the offense to run an offense and to, to, to waste time. I have the advantage. How do I capitalize from this advantage? So how do I make an advantage or turn an advantage into an open shot, into a high percentage shot? And this goes with, again, spacing and ball movement. And what I want to do is expose this situation that I have a big who ideally will have problems to cover this guy here one-on-one. -on -one. And I have a, a smaller guy who has size disadvantage and needs a second guy to prevent him from scoring. But since I don't know how your big man is in a situation where he might get pushed or where he needs to catch a ball high and keep it high, maybe even pass it back out if, if they collapse, or how is he when it comes down to beating your man off the dribble, even when it's a, a slower offensive player. Who creates the, the, the bigger advantage for you? I cannot answer this question for you. But what I can do is show you both situations and both options on how we want to attack, either inside or outside. What do you think, and I'm asking the, the players, 
what's the tendency? More attack inside or more attack outside? You say inside? Who says inside? Who says inside? Inside majority? Inside here? Inside? Who says outside? The tendency goes towards attacking it outside. Uh, the tendency in modern basketball is to attack the mismatch from outside. Now, anyway, we'll still start with, uh, with the inside attack. Um, let's go back to the original setup. Uh, you guys, please pay close attention uh, because you will need what I tell them now later on when we do this 4 and 4, 5 and 5. Okay? Now, so first of all, uh, and, and this is something um, that we need to understand that we need to prepare the players for those situations. If I cannot dribble left, right, it makes no sense to talk about switch, attack, pick and roll, obviously, right? So he needs to be able to set the screen up to prepare the screen. He needs to be able to find the defender, to sprint into the screen, to lock his front foot, all right? Screen him, stop, screen the front shoulder with his chest, all right? Create. Have him attack here, and then, all right, go down. We'll talk about this in a, in a second. Now, I'm going to give you the instruction to throw him the ball inside in this two and two situation, but I'm going to give you three rules. You ready? Yep. Okay. Now, rule number one, he only gets the ball when he has both feet in the paint. I do not want my big man to roll straight to the block. So I want you to try to get the ball with both feet in the paint. Okay? I'm right now, I leave it up for him, angle, whatever. That's the first, the first rule. So you're responsible. He only gets it with, with both feet in the paint. All right? The second thing about the pass is going to be a high pass or low pass? High pass. Why? Because he's small. He has his advantage in the air. So that also means, yes. That also means you got to give him a high target. You got to give him something to pass the ball to. All right? So show your hand. All right? Show your hand. You give him a high pass. Question. Jump, yes or no, on the pass? Jump, yes or no? Passer. Jump, yes or no? 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 Anybody, yes? The correct answer is it depends. You can jump to make a pass. You can never jump to find the pass. So if the jump helps you to create a better angle, if it helps you uh, to, to get over the hands of the defense, if it helps you to also here create an angle for a pass like this or a pass like this, jump. No problem. But make sure you do not jump in the air without knowing where the pass should go. OK? So now we know we want to get the ball inside. Both feet. We want to know. We know that the uh, the ball goes goes high. The third thing is, um, you don't pick up the dribble before you have that pass. So what never happens, no matter how he plays this, all right, that you take the ball and pick it up and now look for a solution. You have to keep the dribble. Okay. So uh, let's go out here. Let's just see. Try to try to find a solution. Here we go. Prepare him, good. Get deep, get deep, get deep, give him a target, good. And up, and up, very good, very good. Follow, okay, good. Go again. So we have, I didn't give them many instructions, just those, those three, which for me are the most important ones. We'll talk about sealing the man, holding him off, and all those, uh, all those things. We also got to see, go, go a second time. How they set the screen, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep the dribble, all right, okay, good. All right. So. As a first step, we would start this two and two, right? We would start this two and two. And um, you have to see how good are they to really prepare the screen. He did a pretty good job to prepare the screen. So we never want uh, the defender to get over that screen. Because if there's no screen, we don't need to switch, right? If, if he doesn't really bring him in a disadvantage, if he doesn't get screened, if I can screen me, screen me, if I can get over that screen, we don't need to switch. Right? So you got to keep me busy and attack opposite first. Yeah, you nail the, the defensive player 
Gets the screen. You, you go right at him, you screen that foot. Okay, now, if I know that he wants to go under the screen, I would screen him a little lower. I would screen his shoulder blade. Okay, so if I know that he's, he wants to get under, I would get, just, just stay here, I would screen a little bit more like this. All right, I adjust the angle and I screen the shoulder blade. If he wants to get over that screen, I'm going to be a little higher and make it more difficult for him to get over this. All right, this is especially important in transition situations. Okay, a lot of times uh, teams go and drag screens, they go under. If you screen the shoulder blade, it's going to be much harder for them. You force the switch. Uh, because a lot of times in drag screen, they want to go under first and then see, maybe go hard hitch or, or uh, force away from the screen or whatever. But if you screen him on the drag screen, you screen him deep, you force the switch and you will get exactly in this situation. Okay, so um, I would start with the breakdown drill. I need a, a third guy, please, here on the, on the wing. And that's one general things, uh, thing. I love breakdown situations. I'm not a big fan on drills. Um, let me explain this. I think that we coaches sometimes waste too much time on organization of drills, and our players become great drill executors, but bad basketball players. So pick a very game realistic thing, break it down, chop it down, and use this as a drill. Not too much explanation about organization, because if I, if I have 10 minutes uh, to, to cover a certain topic and I waste five minutes for organization, how they run this, who's going to be next, and pass or shoot or shoot or pass or you go here, uh, it's very, very confusing. And at the end of the day, you teach them the drill and not the game. All right? I understand that in, in like tactical, where this, is, this is a tactical topic, um, you have to break this down also in, in technical drills to simplify and make them prepare a screen, make them a ball handling, make them uh, those passes. Yes, create drills, but create drills where they're busy all the time. Busy, 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 where you get exactly this topic. Don't run a drill just because it looks great. Everybody's busy, everybody's running around. Or if you do that, at least know why you do this. Then you know, okay, I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know, get them loose or clear the mind or whatever. I don't know if we have the time to do those things on the, on the basketball court. So I try to break it down, be specific, and keep it very simple. Now, um, some of you guys were, were here last year, and I need you to remember how we switched last year. You, you were here last year, I know that. Were you here last year? Were you here last year? So you have an excuse. All right, you don't. So you'll be defense now. Offense, offense. So um, there are two ways of switching, basically, or in general, two ways of, of, of switching. Um, this can be an aggressive switch, right? This is what we did last time, you remember? So we switched out like in a hard hedge and we switched aggressively. And did we switch over or under? Right over. Wow. Correct. Anyway. Now it has a 50-50 chance. You blew it. <laughs> Again, this is philosophy. It's not right, it's not wrong. I'm, uh, and now we're going into the defensive part. The reason why I like to switch over is because it's easier to triple switch. And I can, if he goes out aggressively, like step, I, I'm on him now, uh, I push him. So if I go under this, uh, if I switch under this, he might just step back and shoot. So from a, on a certain level, even if he goes out aggressive, this will be very difficult to contest this shot, number one. Number two, when I switch over this, I push him right into him, so he's, his hip is locked, and I push him down, and I always keep contact. And if I now have a triple switch situation, he takes it, and I can already run out to my next player. That's one thing. The other thing, if you hedge out, and he does what sometimes players do naturally, that he turns back, like hedge out in a good angle. Angle is parallel to the sideline, yes. And he just comes back now, yeah? So I'm switching over, and now he comes back. Like he runs this direction, you sprint, follow him. We could switch back here. Right, so that's why I want to be over on top of the guy instead of being under. Anyway, that's an excursion to, to last year's uh, topic on, on how we want to switch. Okay, if he switches out aggressively, you can go under, uh, over or under, it doesn't matter right now. If he switches out aggressively, stop. We told him to keep the dribble. Right, we told him to keep the dribble. And if we go back here, I don't know if we're going to get a lot of advantage since he's going to or I might go over on this, like he switched over, he's on top of the key, he dribbles back to create an advantage. This way he couldn't go, he goes back and they just switch back. So if they go out aggressive, the first thing I want you to do is hit ahead. 
And you, of course, need to create an angle where he can hit the ball ahead. Your defender is going to be here. He's going to be here. Right? So if, if you are too deep down here, if you're down here and they, they switch out aggressively, right? He switches out. Yeah, you got to move up because otherwise I can deflect this pass. Okay, move up. You can get away from the three-point line. No problem. Boom. Okay, hit him. So, yes. And now you know where the ball is. And this is important. You got to know where the ball goes. He goes out aggressive. You know the ball is going to go hit ahead. So you do everything to keep him behind you. You want to create a gap that's as big as possible to catch the ball here. So, again, you don't run directly to the block at all. Yeah? First, you try to get away from your man, but if he still has contact with you, then you hold him here. You hold him. You seal him. All right? Don't even think about the bounce pass. <laughs> All right? So you, you give him still. You give him that high pass. Where's the help going to come from? Where's the help going to come from? From this side. So you got to make a step to the ball. You got to make a step to the ball. All right? Let's do this here. Let's go. Let's see this. Start down a little bit. All right, create an angle. Up, up, he drills back, come up, boom, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Little higher, little higher. And give him a clear, give him a clear target, right? So if you see that you still have contact with him here, you got all the time in the world, okay? He has, he wants to come in from here, come to a stop. It's like on the highway, if somebody goes too close behind you and you push the brakes to scare him off, you do just like that. Don't do it. It's too dangerous. <laughs> but he comes in here. You come to a stop. All right? And now you give him a high target. Keep the ball high, finish high. All right? Go again. Good. Pop. Yep. Keep the dribble. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. High. Okay. If he comes to this side, if he comes to this side defensively, uh, he plays on the, on the high side. Prepare for the lob. All right, prepare him for the lob. Okay, so he's here. You can already here prepare him for this lob. We're going to have, yes, very good. We're going to have, once we go to the, to the four on four, uh, the weak side help you for a high low pass. Okay, but prepare him for the lob. Give him a high target. Let him front you, no problem. If he's in front, let him front you. Just make sure that you keep him out here. You hold him and you look for this pass. Now you try to stay in front that he cannot easily get around you. Try to hold position. Try to hold position. He's screening him. Good. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Keep him in front. Keep him in front. Hi. Hi. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So he knows. Okay. I, I got attacked. He hedged out aggressively. It was an aggressive switch. Right. He retreat dribbles. Uh, he retreat dribbles. See if he... So the first look still is always directly. Still. Yeah, the first look is always directly. The second look is now, as, as, as long as he's like this, it's hit ahead pass. Now, um, let's switch passively a little more, because you see this a lot too, that they don't switch out aggressively, but he stays back. All right, you won't get much out of this hit ahead pass. Okay, what I want you to do is freeze the defender. Freeze him. What does that mean? I keep the dribble, I look at the big, but I drag him out. And now I create an angle. This could go this way, this could go that way. You choose. And you cooperate with him to see, okay, what side is he played on? Right? If he's played like this, okay, I'm going to dribble out. What, are you, what would you do? No, you drift. You drift. You got to get away. All right? And I look, bomb for this, or maybe here, here, to create a better angle. But you keep the dribble and drag him out. Drag him out. All right? Let's go. Uh, switch passive. Here we go. Yes, good. Drag him out, drag him out. Look directly. Yes, very good. Very good. Very good. Go again. Attack opposite. Good. Okay, good. Um, make sure when you set that screen that you straddle the front foot because if we don't create an advantage on the ball screen, they don't have to switch. Yeah, so you really make sure that you find his front foot, he attacks opposite, you find that front foot and hit him. Okay? Hit him. And once he's stepping out and he's showing action, yeah, then you're getting to the basket as quickly as possible, looking for direct pass or getting, getting deeper. Let's go one more time, then we're gonna, then I'm gonna need uh, two more, two more to make it four and four. All right? Here we go. Up, set him up. 
Drag him out, drag him out, drag him out. Looks directly. Okay, good. And up. All right. So when we get to that point, there's a lot of technical elements that need to be taken care of. It's dragging out, keeping the, the head up, right? When you get keeping the head up, still protecting the ball, looking for this, all right? And, and looking, yes, spacing here, action here. Next thing is also when you have it stop to not drop it like this, but to keep it high, yes. You want to keep it high and, and, and finish high. Those are things that you really need to, then you need to break it down even more. And you, this you can make in, in, in drill situations where the bigs just get repetitions, boom, keep it high and, 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 and finish high. All right? So um, let's go to the next step. Let's have four guys. I need two more wings on the here. Go, go down here. Let's go down here also quickly. Your offense. Go down. Quick, quick, quick. quick. One defender here. One defender there, White's an offense, quickly. Stay here. All right. So, we simplify. We still simplify, but we go one step ahead. We have that pick and roll action. Okay, we got the pick and roll action, boom. All right, you gotta read. If he's aggressive, you gotta be available as next passer. So I would start a little bit higher here. Yeah? You need to be available here for the next pass. Right, if he, Keeps the dribble and dribbles your direction. You always got to have a, a feeling for spacing. Your first look again is here. Remember, we said the main purpose is to create an advantage. Right? To create an advantage. We have an advantage if they need two guys on him. So we just had here, you drag him out, you were in front, and he's very, very deep already. Who's open? Where's the advantage? Yes. You make sure that you come and, and come up a little bit. Depends on whether this is one-man side or two-man side. Right now we have two one-man sides. So spacing is easy. But you still have to shorten the, the distance up here. This is with ball movement and spacing creating a high percentage shot. That's all I want. That's all I want. So yes, I tacked inside. But that doesn't mean that I throw him the ball when he has three guys around him. And it doesn't stop right here. Because if you catch the ball, you don't stop working for your position. Why? Number one, because you still might get it here. You gotta be careful because when he attacks the closeout, make a closeout. Bum, 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 bum. Hands out. All right, we gotta talk about closeout. Okay, stay here, stay here, stay here. If he attacks the closeout, you cannot interfere with him, right? So if you have your man here, you might have to stay right here. Don't go deeper. You drive, yes, dish pass if he cannot help because he's locked. All right? So you have to keep the spacing. But we have the advantage, and this is again where we are, right? We had an advantage, we had the ball to a shooter, this is catch and shoot, okay? This is shot, it's always a good shot. Yeah? Or he attacks the closeout for a layup or for another kick pass. The other reason why you need to fight, keep fighting for position is because he has a great offensive rebounding situation. Because he's a small guy on him who's ideally also behind him. Even if he's here, it doesn't matter. Right, so if you take, just a second, if you take the shot here, you're gonna be on the rebound. You crash like crazy. From here, you'll be back. Yes, please, question. Uh, and is he going to roll in the middle of the paint? Right now, yes. Yes, Two, towards the ball. Towards the ball. So finding the ball, especially against an aggressive hedge. If he hedges out aggressively, you got to make sure that you anticipate, you look directly, you anticipate this, this pass. So it's got to be a step to the ball. Why? Because the help side is going to come in, and he's going to come in quick, so you got to make a, a step to the ball. But uh, the, the main thing to teach the players is that they are ready to get the ball inside the paint and not run out to the block here, uh, and then I have the ball here and need two dribbles to, to draw a second defender. No, I want to create an advantage without a dribble. You have the ball here and finish. Okay, let's see. Well, let's go. Let's go in four and four situation. Let's be live, and let's see what develops out of this. Here we go. Set him up. Up. We switch this. Keep him high. Keep him. Up. Stop. Stop. Killed the advantage. All right, I will blow the whistle and say stop, over, turnover. Because if you need attack, you get stopped, attack, you get stopped again, and then we go one-on-one, -on -one. we don't need pick and roll. So it's either shot or you beat your defender and then you make the next pass. And this is um, one thing that is very, very important to not kill advantages. And the main thing is because why we kill advantages because we dribble the ball for no reason. Sometimes it's better to miss a shot than not to take a shot. 
This will always be a good chat. So if you're open here, shoot this. Because we have offensive rebound. We have offensive rebound. Yeah, we have very good chances for this. Shoot this with confidence. And if you see that he runs you off the three-point line, yes, then go. But this is, you're going and you have another, you have a layup, you have a dish pass, no dribble, or you have a pass, no dribble shot. Don't kill advantages. When we do something like this, when we have players create advantages, if they kill the advantage by over dribbling, I blow the whistle, turn over other team. They will very quickly adjust to keeping the advantage alive. That's what I tell, keep the advantage alive. And especially with young American players coming directly from college, um, they really struggle with this because they're afraid of traveling. So they put the ball on the floor before anything happens. And then the defense is set and, and nothing happens. All right. So making those decisions, I think, is crucial also for our youth development. Have to make decisions. How do I attack closeouts? One on one in modern basketball is not this. It's not this. Check ball. That's not one on one. One on one in modern basketball is attacking closeouts. It's attacking close. That's what we have to work on. Not on isolation and between the legs and back and forth. Forget it. Close out attack. So you have to read. Thank you. You have to read the closeout and then be able to shoot, drive, pass, whatever. Here we go, next try, let's go, let's go, up. Prepare him, up, here we go, up. Keep the trouble, keep there, stop! Stop, 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 stop. How did he defend? How did he defend? Aggressive, what's the first look? Hit ahead, okay. What did he do? Like, keep the dribble, don't, don't. Yeah. Huh? Keep the dribble, keep the dribble, keep the dribble. Okay, if he overplays, and you still got him here, and he overplays, and you see him now like this, yeah. then you can throw the pass. But it was a little too early. You got to make sure you have the advantage. You got to make sure that when you pass the ball, he also has an advantage and a long closeout, not the short closeout. We, why, do we, why do they switch? Switching, you have short closeouts, right? If you go hard hitch, you have long closeouts. Why do you go in soft coverage? Because you have short closeouts, ideally. Maybe you can keep it two and two, but you have other risks. Right? You have to make sure that you have an advantage and you extend this advantage. All right, let's go one more time. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Up. Go hit him. Go hit him. Good. Up, drag it out. Yes, good. Okay. This is, this is part of, of the development, like these passes and also coming up here because he needs to be in a position, ideally, where he can, this got to be a sip pass. So you catch the ball here, you give him a target away, you go boom, boom. So this is boom, boom. Uh, if he needs to get the ball over here, it's a problem. But why did he get the ball over here? Because he did not use his body well enough to make this pass. So he steps out aggressively and you went away from him. You got to get into him. So you're using this. You got to go into him, into him and throw this pass. And now you can see that you can throw it even more to the, to the three-point line. Right? So if you go out here and you go away from him, and now you make this pass, so you're off balance, he's off balance. You gotta go right into him. Attack the hip of the defense. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. So get an aggressive mindset. You're faking him. All right, come here with the, with the screen. You're faking him, Bob, you're coming off. You're going right into him, here. Okay, and you're trying to make this pass here. Okay, now, it, boom, he still denies this. Now I look, hop, fake, Bob. It's two and one. Right? One more time. Then we switch offense defense. Good. Look, keep it, keep it. Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Bravo. Very good. Let's switch offense defense. A little bit higher. Yeah, a little bit higher, those passes. But you see now they have a little more patience, a little more to, to throw that ball in. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Defense ready. Up. Good. Up. Keep it. Look at him. Up. Decision. Shot. Rebound. 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 Get in there. Good. Up. 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 Stop, 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 stop. Not the topic. We could fill a coach clinic with this topic, but just quick introduction. Two options after offensive rebound. A, layup, two, three-point shot. Three, quick set. Okay, this is clear direction for our players. First layup, second three-point shot, third quick set. Okay, so when you have the ball, be aggressive, but when he catches the ball, I want everybody else but the big who's busy uh, following here to be ready to give him an outlet pass for a catch and shoot three. Those are the most high percentage three point shots coming from inside out after offensive rebound. Okay, go one more time. Here we go. 
Up. Be a monster inside. Hold him off. Hold him off. Hold him off. Give him a target. Give him a target. Give him a target. Hold him. Hold him. Good. Up. Okay. And high. High. Keep it high. Keep it high. Keep it high. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. They need to develop that, that patience. Like the passes are a little more, like with a little more crisp on it. And also, especially when you're here in this situation, you're dragging him out. Very good point guards. Uh, so he, he's coming out. I got the big. Uh, you can fake here and throw that pass. Yeah? So you make him go back. And you just do quick, you do quick hesitation and still throw it. So you don't stop fighting for position. Okay, let's go one more time. Good. Up. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Yes. Stop. Where, where was the advantage? Yes. Very good. Here we go. That's repetition. Repetition and correct them. Repetition and correct them. All right, here we go. Start down a little bit. Start down. Spacing. Here we go. Go, go, go. Up. Use him, use him, use him. Good. Yes. Hold him, hold him off. Hold him off. Hold him off. Yes. Up. Attack. Here. All right. Now we're, again, now we, we killed the advantage a little bit. Um, and then it comes down to we attack a closeout. We still beat our man, so the advantage is still alive. I beat my man. I draw the second help. What do you have to do? Uh, get, get in this position again. Just, and this is then, uh, we're still, this applies no matter what offense I run. Now we're in the principles of penetration and spacing. So he beats him to the baseline. He draws the help. You are dunk a spot here, right? So you are, you're right here. So if he helps, you just take the step in. Yes, you got to drop. Okay, you got to drop. You will have to help. He goes for help here, he'll have to help here. Right, if he doesn't help here, he's open. If he helps, he's open. Yeah, so also here, you gotta make a pass that's not straight line, hit a hit. Yeah, so he, this might be a pass where you actually have to jump. Yeah, you jump out of bounds. Because now he cannot, here, you jump out of bounds and throw it. And if everybody collapses here, you throw this. This is another example, very good example actually, where you could actually jump. You drive in here and you jump, boom, and I know he's open. Right? You create an angle to get around the, the help set. One more time, then we switch off and stiffens. Good. Okay. All right. And rebound. Okay. Give him a, show him a little more love if he has the, the small guy behind him to really look for this. Let's go in a front situation. Let's say we have full front. Say we have full front action and we don't dare to throw this. We still want to go inside. Uh, before we, we take this, this three-point shot. Um, go, with the, go with the hard hitch. All right. Or hard. Bump. Okay, you hit a hit. All right, you go down here, you go down here, you go down here. Was not possible, was not possible, was not possible. You're still going there. Okay, stop. And he's fronted. You hold him on the front. Who's helping on this? Okay. We want to get this guy. We have an athletic guy here. A lot of times, this pass, he's going to be very aggressive on him. So defensively, you will see at a high level, if there was any kind of switch, he's going to be all over him. So this pass is not going to happen. Because here you have a freaking athlete of 2 meters 6 who covers ground like crazy and who can help here. And at the same time, since he pressures him so hard on the pass, be here and contest the shot. So we're not going to get an advantage. All right? You have a mismatch against the big, right? So you keep that mismatch by just go out. Just go out. Here we go. He either denies you or he drops. If he drops, we're going to attack outside. So just stay here. Just here. Just, just coming up. We have a fit. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. All right. The last man, you flash. You sprint to this spot. Right in here. Bum, 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 bum. Here. Right here. Okay. You get in the pass. You turn. You throw the lob. Or you have a shot if he stays there, of course. Right, so you would follow with him. All right. Now look at this situation. Okay. Beautiful because we don't have a fifth defender. But with the fifth defender, we're going to have a one against two, not a zero against one. Okay? Let's try to, you try to front him. Okay? You hit a hit, and we try to play this high low. All right? Here we go. Here we go. Up, up. Yes, hit a hit. Good. Flash, 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 sprint. Up. Okay. Yep. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Um, we're back to fundamentals. You have to get open. You have to get open because your man was briefly on help. So you need to beat him to the spot. So he's on help side and you're sprinting. And now all of a sudden he closes the gap here. That's what happened. Uh, get the ball back, please. Defender, be on me. I'm, I'm, I'm you now. Uh, defender on me. Defender, come here. 
First of all, create a little better angle to get to the free throw line extended, because this is where we want to get the ball inside to the post. Just a little more down. Free throw line extended. Yes, stop. OK, stop. OK, maybe we have another guy in the corner. Maybe we don't. Anyway, that guy is going to come up and flash. OK, we're going to talk about this in a second if he takes this away. Right? We're going to speak about this in a second. So I sprint up. And now I see that he tries to close this gap here. That means two things. Number one, you have the lob opportunity because he's not in between anymore. He's trying to defend me, so be ready to throw this lob. And second, I need to draw contact and sprint. If there's contact, I need to draw the contact, initiate, get off him so I can get the ball here away from the defense, back pivot and throw this ball. If you have no contact, you just sprint to this spot. If he closes the gap, you have to V-cut to get open on this, on this spot. And you always keep this in mind that you might have the high low. And then, of course, the technique of pinning, like sealing the big man. This is a topic for individual uh, one against zero, one-on-one -on -one practice work with the, with the bigs. All right, here we go. Let's go again. You can hard hedge, uh, like hard switch or soft switch. I don't care. OK, we're going to read this. Here we go. Up. Use him, use him, use him, use him. Good. Come in. Good. Up, 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 up. Look at him. All right. OK. Don't uh, uh, come too deep here. OK, you're first getting to this spot. If he stops you here, then you start here with the V-cut. Because if you start too deep here, you're taking away the lob. So don't bring the defender to the spot where he wants to be. You're sprinting up. You're sprinting up, you're sprinting up, you're sprinting up. Don't forget that you want to have an, an angle where if he gets here, that we still have good spacing. OK, so you need to go out here. You can, as soon as he flashes out here to this spot, you can flare out. Uh, because if he wants to take this away, we're going to create a closeout here with the big from you. Yes. And you're going to attack the big now with the closeout. Probably going to attack it from the outset. Then. OK, go one more time. Go one more time. Here we go. Position. Up. Up. Use him. Keep the dribble. Good. Look, look, look. Up. Get him. Yes. Very good. Keep it high. Finish high. Very good. Very good. Bravo. Let's go offense, defense. Very good. But you, it, I think it's so important, especially for youth basketball, because they, they, they get used to this. Please be aggressive defensively. Do not allow this guy, you saw now how difficult it was for him to make the pass here because he did a good job pressuring him. But that's how he gets better. If he defends him with his hands down, or as I like to call it, the ski jumper's defense, you're like this. You're not helping the offense to get any better because the pass is too easy. Be up on him like, you, like coach uh, taught you guys the very last session. You want to be all over him. Mirror the ball. Okay? We want to see hands all the time. All right, here we go. Let's go. That's yes, good. Drag it out, drag it out. Stop, 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 stop. The ball was not in a, in a situation. You got to read what's, what's happening. He's, the ball is still in the middle. There is no high low situation. So he, he still dragged him out. All right? You got all the time in the world because we already have the, the mismatch situation. He drags him out. That means you got to clear out, clear out, dribble him out, dribble him out, dribble down here, dribble him out, pop. Okay, here we go. And now, if he's still fronted, you see what's happening. Okay? Now your man is taking away the lob. You sprint to this spot. Sprint up. Have enough spacing. Oh, wait, yes, yeah, stop. Okay, enough spacing from him. You may not come until here because he's here. Now you're coming up here. Got enough space. Okay, stop. Here we go. Face it, pop. All right. When do you release from the seal? What's the, what's the moment that you release the contact and go for the ball? Hmm? Mm -mm. When he passes, that might be too early. Uh, but when he passes it and you already release, he might still be on contact. Uh, take it as a rule of thumb that when the ball is exactly above you, yeah, so you hold him as long, when you see the ball exactly above you, then you can go for the ball, not before. If you go too early, he throws the pass and you already go, he's gonna, what we teach the players is that you push him down. Yep, so he, now you go to the, you, yes, you go too early, I'm gonna push you too deep. All right, so hold it, ball is above you, then you can go. Okay, let's go one more time. Here we go. Set him up, good. Up, drag him out, good. Yes, good, look. Yep, come in, come in, good, okay, yeah, all right. Idea was correct. He needs to have a good feeling for the spacing. We cannot throw a ball to the high-low action or to the flash post if we are too far above free throw line extended. 
Okay, we need to bring the ball here 45 or below free throw line extended, ideally. Okay, here we go. One more time. Stop, hold him, yes. Okay, all right, very good, very good, okay. Yes, we need to have them find solutions, develop some patience with the ball to really see, okay, how does the defense play this? Then I go here or here, just to cooperate with the big. Any questions so far before we go into the, into the five on five situation? Please. I will, I will say it loud so then, yeah. Yeah. Ja, ja, klar, aber dann reden wir nicht mehr von Switch, sondern von Trap Defense. Ne? Ja, wir sind jetzt nur bei, bei, bei Switch Defense. Also, the question was, what happens if both guys attack the ball? Well, it's not Switch Defense anymore, no? it's Trap. Different topic. All right? So, uh, let's get a fifth guy. Fifth guy, who's still loose enough to, to jump in there. I'm um, going to show you two different situations. One, a very simple, uh, just high pick and roll, high pick and roll action for, for point guard. Um, with the true high pick and roll going towards the one-man side. So what I want, um, let's have the uh, second guy over here. Offense, offense, second guy here. Yep, okay. You start down here. Okay, you're deep, very deep, stop, okay. Yes, L yes, stop, okay. Now, you sprint up, okay, very simple high pick and roll action away from the two-man side. You sprint up, you prepare the screen, yes, okay. And now we have exactly this situation just now with an additional defender. Okay, you learned. What did he do now? He was soft, right? What would you, would, what would you do? To keep the dribble, yes, look directly, but keep the dribble, he's very deep. The deeper he is, the more you'll probably have to play between, yes. So it's not clear situation. In order to make it a clear situation, you have to keep, keep the dribble, keep the dribble. Yes, you go down, you go down, you go down, stop. Okay, what we got now? Who's, who's the flash post? Yes. Flash in, sprint, what would you do? Flare out, yes, pop. Okay, and now in this moment, you have the decision here to either go directly uh, or to go pump, pump. And if he now helps on this, if he now helps on this, yes. So you know he has two guys on him, you can blindly throw it here because you know and you'll be ready for shot or for next pass. Okay, let's, let's run this. Just simple, very simple. Here we go. Sprint up, up, defense, up, good. Keep the dribble, keep the dribble, yes. Stop! What cardinal mistake did he make? Picked up the dribble too early, okay? You can be a little faster, and when you catch the ball, make sure you don't catch it like this. Yeah, because it gives him more time to protect the basket first, and until you are squared up like this, then come out on you. And this gives him half a second longer time to work in in correct position to release from front and go uh, in, in towards the other side, yes, right? You're losing half a second that at a higher level you won't have, right? So when you come in here, you sprint here, you catch the ball, you gotta be immediately pop, all right? Be in this, look for this, for this action and be ready to shoot because if he's down there, why is this a great shot? Well, because you're a good shooter, I saw this at the, at the final four, but plus you have a good offensive rebound situation. Okay, but our main thing, again, is this. A mid-range shot, by the way, right? Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But we, uh, we need to, ex this is another advantage. Our main purpose was to get the ball inside, so we really got to know if we want to make this pass, but then we'll get in another advantage situation. And his job would be to, to capitalize from this closeout, right? That's why we have to teach our guys to attack closeouts effectively. Okay, here we go. Spacing here is important. All right, here we go. Pop. Up, good. Keep the trouble, keep the trouble, keep the trouble. Very good. Up. Yep. Okay, stop. One of the. How should I say this to, to stay polite? Because I, I like what that he that he played with them. Um, players who are not used um, aggressive or 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 uh, smart defense have the tendency to overcut. 
please make sure that we first and foremost stay white, stay behind the three-point line. There are situations where we want to cut, okay? But uh, make sure that you space the floor and keep it white because we, we have a mismatch, right? We have a mismatch. So if you drive in here, the defense collapses on the next pass, the chances are very high that the mismatch is erased because they just rotate the guard out and keep the big man home. So I want to avoid having another closeout situation or cut situation uh, where I go right into traffic. Stay white. Okay, stay white. Let's go again. Here we go. Then we switch offense defense. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Prepare him. Prepare the screen. Good. Drag him out. Drag him out. Drag him out. Drag him out. Sprint. Go in. Up. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Huh? We would see then um, if, we don't, if we don't have this, we would go to the second mismatch. And the second mismatch is outside. We're going to speak about this in a, in a second. Let's switch offense defense. Let's switch offense defense. Go one more repetition with the high pick and roll. Here we go. Up. Set him up. Good. Drag him out. Don't. Yes. Here. Look at him. Look at him. Yes. Very good. Keep it high. Good. Excellent. Okay. And we also... That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Um, we also have to teach our bigs, that's very important, to keep the ball high and be ready to catch it here, catch it high, and fire it out to the shooter. One of the most important tools for bigs, not only here, especially in pick and roll situation. Uh, you catch the ball like catching it on the sprint, keeping it high, jump stop, boom. This is why big men um, who have a high center of gravity have problems with those situations. Right? So you need to really teach, boom, you keep the ball high, you boom, and you make a decision here. Keep it high, shoot, maybe one power dribble if you have an open lane, or kick it out. Okay? So this would be a high pick and roll, high pick and roll situation. It needs a lot of breakdown situations, need a lot of technical fundamentals uh, to really execute this. But I think you guys got an idea of how we want to execute this, how we want to expose this inside. Okay, let's switch offense to defense, um, that we have the, the second offense, let's get a little more... Well, complicated. It's not complicated. Let's have uh, four and five uh, up here. Let's have two and two and three. Doesn't matter. Okay. Again, we uh, we use this with the. Uh, please, I'm, I'm I'm not talking about youth basketball now. I'm talking about adult basketball. Just to just to make sure. Uh, we want to create an elbow pick and roll where we go towards the two man side. This was high pick and roll. We go towards the one man side. Right? We want to create an elbow pick and roll, we go towards the two-man side. Uh, five men, where's my four? You my four? All right. Uh, five men, you start out here. You screen the four men open on either side. You can choose, but you need to get open. Start behind him. Start behind him. You scream down. You get open on either side, either here or here, 45. Okay, you get out on, on the other side. Oh, yeah, you get him the ball. No, no, get him the ball you get, to get open. Okay? You fake away, and you get the handoff. Handoff, pop. Okay, after handoff, you come up, and you can choose. Now you can cut to the basket, yeah, then you will be, will end up being the baseline man. Or if you're a very good shooter, which you are, yes, flare screen here, and look for this. Okay, we don't want to throw the ball right now. Yeah, we don't want to throw the ball right now. Um, we go continue with, with pick and roll. This, again, we talked about creating advantages. If he gets stuck here on this flare screen, and he catches the ball here and can attack the closeout, it's an advantage. Throw it. Throw it. Okay, and that's why I don't, um, like when we run an offense, uh, yes, we want to be disciplined and attack certain situations. Okay, we, they switch, pick and roll, we want to get to the pick and roll, expose them. But this doesn't mean that we don't take anything that's showing up early and we have a clear uh, situation out of this. Okay, let's, let's go from there. Start from the beginning. Can we do this live? We're live already? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Up, get open, either side, either side. Up, be aggressive with the ball, be aggressive with the ball, cut. Either way, good, screen him. Switch, switch. Okay. All right, don't forget, please, that the main purpose now is to get the ball inside. Okay, we're still, we're trying to get the big the inside. If he doesn't get it, it's got to create a wide open shot from a good shooter, which was the case right now, but I still think we did not look inside enough. We didn't give him enough time to get the ball deep. Try to get him the ball under the basket. Try to get him deep. Here we go, up. Up, get open, be aggressive with the ball, be aggressive with the ball. Up, cut, good, get him, get him, get him, get him. Switch this, switch this, good. Switch it, switch it. Good, good, look. Okay, here again, it's no, no problem to still throw him the ball here. Right, he's in first position, it's a good shot, don't get me wrong. It's a good shot, but now 
you got one guy happy, right? You hit the chat now, you get two guys happy because you made a great pass and he's got a basket. Okay, we might get a foul from the small guy. Again, um, have players understand it's not a bad shot and it doesn't matter if he makes it or misses it. A good shot stays a good shot. A bad shot stays a good shot. Whether you miss it or make it, it doesn't matter. Huh? Um, this is in general a good shot if I say, hey, if somehow possible attack inside, it's a bad shot because he was open. All right, get this into play. What, what, where do we really want to attack? And everything else is plan B. Right now, we're, we're looking too much at plan B. We're getting good situations, don't get me wrong. We're getting excellent situations, but we're not showing him enough love. All right, here we go, let's go. Up, get open, aggressive with the ball. Up, look, good. Here we go, up, good. Hit the head, very good, very good. Look, 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 yes, and up. Good, excellent, bravo, very good, very good, very good, very good, good job. And switch off and defense, switch off and defense. So they're becoming a little more patient and, and they play with a little more purpose to see, okay, where will the openings be? You guys are ready for this? Got the offense? Here we go, it's not, not too hard. Here we go. Bob, get open. Yep. <laughs> Use him, you fake one way, go out the other. Fake one way, go out the other. Here we go, up, up, all right, up, here we go, up. Be aggressive, you can attack the, yes, roll, 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 yes, very good, look inside again, go ahead, stop, stop, stop. Now we had, we already had two passes, keep the ball here, it's good, it's all good, it's all good. You read if there's chance for flesh, but now we have, see how many guys we have here, so we really gotta be, we really gotta be smart on this, okay? So you gotta see, hey, is the, 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 the flesh, does the flesh make sense? If he flashes, where would you have to go? You get out of his shadow. Get out of his shadow, quickly. You drag him out and see how he plays you. Yeah, if he drops, you get over here, all right? If he stays with you, just drag him out and you get to this spot. Yeah, and then we might have the same thing. Now you might have direct pass, he's still on his way down, all right? So this will be much more close out than the direct pass would be. Maybe he's the better shooter, right? So then we have the, another inside look and then have this, this pass, okay? Just as a different option. So you can use this high low, even if we had two passes already. Okay, just communicate with the guy on the ball. Here we go. Up, good. Here we go, up, yeah, hand off, good. Prepare screen, good, yes, yes, very good. So look at him, look at him, look at him. Ah, You're, you rushed too much and you didn't have communication. You, you showed him something, but I don't know. Huh? Okay, to, to throw this, all right, well, he did. <laughs> Yeah? But you make sure, if you do your job to really try to get in front of him or seal him for the high-low, he will be open. Just trust that if your man cannot cover you, somebody else has to help, and this will free him up. It doesn't free him up if he's, because if he doesn't see him, he doesn't see him anyway. Right? And he looks, he looks at, the, at the big man situation, but this, again, is a difficult pass. It's a difficult pass because you have a guy here who's covering it like this. If he's that deep, you move up, you move up, probably have to move up a little bit anyway. All right? He helped him. He helped him. So I thought the guy in the corner was open. Yeah, but still, don't forget that we are talking about a 6'8 guy yeah, with arms like this who can be behind you and still make this. Why? Because this is a long pass. He's not against no pressure. He did a good job being all over him. So uh, uh, when he makes this pass, he's going to be there. Yeah, and all of a sudden we have a killed advantage, so it makes much more sense. Yeah, instead of waiting here and, and being like, he's pressured. Okay, so you do, you do your job down here and, and, and seal him. I'm flashing up, you make sure that you get out of this way. Yeah, wherever you can go, huh? depending on where, okay. Yeah, if you have enough spacing, then that's fine. Right, that you get here to this spot. And then you, boom, yeah, you feel, yes, now we have, and we have movement. Okay, uh, of course we have to talk about three second violation. Uh, fortunately, I have to say, the three seconds have disappeared from the rule book miraculously. So, I don't know, last second, three second call I have seen is, I don't know, I don't remember. So, let's use this uh, to, to our advantage. Here we go, let's go. Up, up, good, good, up, attack closer. Up, good, up, good, hit ahead, yes. Uh, you are not patient enough, drag him out. He was like, yes, we want to go hit a head pass, but why not take in another dribble? Drag him out. Uh, because if they cover all this, we might go into plan B and attack from outside, which is going to be next topic. Okay? One more time. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, very good, very good, very good. Look, quick, 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 quick. Show. Yes, very good. Bravo. Oh, we have to. Super. Excellent. Excellent. We have to stop right here, because great flash post, great thing. We had a foul here. Plus, he was open like half second late, so that you go down here. But we had this boom, boom, boom movement. Okay, if I have them this far, then it's like, okay, now we got the idea and then we, we move on. Any questions to the attacking from inside? We've covered high pick and roll towards one man side. Of course, we have also high pick and roll towards two man side, but I decided to, to use an elbow pick and roll situation to make it more obvious um, how we can attack this. Any questions? If this is not the case, that's bad because I don't have time to drink. So I'll let you think. Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, how we attack this from outside. Uh, give me two guys again. Maybe maybe two different. Uh, all right, stay stay the, the way. Um, let's have a guard on top. Let's have a guard on top. Um, and so the the bigs like this, you can step off. I'll need you in a second. The good thing is you don't get as many rules as you did before. Okay, so you prepare the screen, you get the screen, okay, pop. And now, depending on, okay, if he hatches out aggressively, we have this hit ahead option also. Uh, right now, I'm taking this away. Why? Because I saw that they were too passive attacking the hip of the big. Okay, so uh, just as we say, okay, we attack it from outside, doesn't mean that you don't throw it to him if he has a wide open layup. Uh, but that means, and also you know this now, right, that our first priority is that we want to attack him. Okay, so what you do is the same as you did before. You roll in, you keep the dribble. You keep the dribble. So, and now you have time. And as soon as he's ready to attack him, what would you do? Stop, yes. That's where I want you to be. Okay? If this is one-on-one -on -one situation like this, you're right-handed, right? Yeah. Open him his right hand. Okay, open him his right hand. Because now it's, it's more open than if he attacks towards you. You would have to move anyway. Even if he goes against you, you would have to do exactly this anyway. But now you're one step ahead. Okay? And what you do is that you drag him out and you try to create, and now it depends, it really depends on on the characteristic of this player. What type of player is he? But you want to build up speed. The worst thing you do is that you stay in attack mode all the time. So you're attacking, you're attacking, you're attacking, you're attacking, you're attacking, and he's in good defensive position. No, get him back. Force him out. And if he's coming out now, okay, you have more space. And if he's not coming out, then you have at least speed where you can attack. Okay, so you want to build up speed. And again, the advantage is there because you have a big guy on you. But if you don't beat him, you kill the advantage. So we would only do this if he could beat him, or we would have two more options, which I want to show you, which are very common uh, in, in modern basketball, to attack the big from outside without having a guard who can beat his man. Okay, let's, let's go like this. You try to kick his butt in one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Up, yes. Build up speed. Clear out, clear out. Yes, yes. Go, attack, attack, attack. Good, very good, excellent, bravo, super. I think we would really isolate you and attack from here, nice. Okay, I think uh, clear and, and simple. He did the right thing, and this is important. And here we are again, we're not talking about switching defense, we're talking about fundamentals on drive and kick. Uh, he took the drive the right direction, uh, his man came in for help and he moved to the dunker spot here, yes, and made him pick his poison. If he drove the direction of the, of the low post from top, come again here. Let's say he drives to his left. Yes, you go under the basket. Yes. Okay. And be right here and make him pick his poison here. So you would always have to move. Plus, you're a great offensive rebounding chance. A lot of times this results in you, you attack, the big man helps, and all you need to do is that you lob it this direction, yeah, if he comes for, for help, okay? So this would be the first thing that we, uh, that we do in, in breakdown situation, that we have them attack. 
get a feeling for timing. It's a, it's a good one-on-one -on -one drill too, like offensively for the guard, but also defensively for the big. Uh, because bigs need to be able to stay in front of a guard, and here they can practice this. And they will figure out, uh, sometimes it's, it's better to, to stay with him and not let him create speed. Uh, so it's, it's better to sometimes move up on him and, and not let him create that speed. Okay, let's, uh, let's go one more time. Switch offense, defense. Let's see if you can get him back on this. Ah, good. Step off, step off. Attack, 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 attack. Yep, okay. All right, good, very good, very good. You drove to pass. You did not drive to score. Okay, um, one thing is, is really important. You can always change a shot into a pass. That's always possible, but you cannot change a pass into a, into a shot. So get in the paint to score and make the pass the second. It's a very good second plan or plan B, right? But don't, you beat him here, you're already, okay, she, ah, I got to pass. No, you got to score or make that pass, okay? Pass was good. Let's go one more time. So half the players, they need to be aggressive. Uh, attack to score. Don't attack to pass. Here we go. Up. Ah, pull him out. Pull him out. Just let him step off. Attack. 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 Yes. Very good. Ah, stop. Stop. What happened? Advantage killed. Right? We were in a situation. We had an advantage and the advantage was killed. And why was it killed? Say again. The pass was great. He just should have been a little further up already. Yep, and on that catch, you're going up like crazy. Uh, or it's one bump fake, boom, contact, uh, end up. Don't hesitate. All right, let's go one more time. You would blow the whistle. I said, stop, boom. Uh, stop, advantage killed, go again. Quick decisions, quick decisions. Up, get him, drag him out. Go deep, 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 Tifa, Tifa, Tifa. Yep, let's go. Up, back, 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 good. Up, what was the mistake? He didn't beat him. Uh, he didn't beat him. He, he, was, he went to pass. Uh, you got to... Got to try to, to attack him. But that's, that's good. That's okay. He did a good job defensively. Yeah, you always find a way as a coach to be positive. You just tell the big guy he did a good job defensively. If you want to be negative all the time, you tell the guard, hey, you didn't beat the big. Right? And there you can also, for yourself in practice, if you feel like it's too much he he ho ho, happy happy, you want to be a little negative, any action, just go on the negative side. Uh, and you can wake the players up a little bit. If you feel like they need some encouragement, any situation that happens, you can just switch to the positive side. So in this case, if I feel like, okay, they need some self-confidence, I will tell my big man, hey, great job to stop this guy one-on-one. -on -one. I would ignore that he didn't beat him. If I feel like practice needs to be spiced up a little bit, I'll go at him and say, come on, what's this? Beat him. Let's go. Right? So you can, this is the, the, the tools you have as a coach to go a little bit into each direction in, in practice, what, what you want to do. So far, any, any questions here? Okay, because then we would, uh, we would go right into, into five on five action. Um, let's go into, give me those five guys from before again, please. Quickly. Let's have, let's have, let's have the, the four men in this single side corner. Why? I will show you in a second. Mm. Wing, wing. Okay, let's keep it simple. First, uh, we just run the, the simple high pick and roll action. Uh, we switch and we want to attack from outside. Now it's just, we just need to talk about spacing right now, correct? We just need to talk about spacing. So you're coming up, and this is, again, bomb, you're preparing him. All right, Bob, you attack him. Okay, stop. You got to read. If he's aggressive uh, and he keeps the dribble here, he doesn't want to go back to not allow them to, to switch back. You might hit a hit. Yep, hit it. Okay, look at him. Get it back. Clear of sp space, 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 and out of this momentum you attack, okay. Or he keeps the dribble and then attacks, like takes him back and then attacks. Okay, now we need to talk about spacing. You already know, we are, we've already hit this, right? What he does when he attacks here or when he attacks here, okay? So, let's say he attacks him this direction. You know what you do already, okay? You need to make sure that you keep the spacing. Your man is not supposed uh, or not able to help unless you're wide open for the shot. Okay, so you got to drift on this side. What do we have here on the other side? You got to lift a little bit behind him. Okay, yes, you're also, you're lifting up here. Okay, because we want to create, you do not want to allow him to play the big and you. 
Okay, if you go the other direction, let's attack the other direction. It's the same, the same principle. You attack here, you have to drift. Stop, you drift, you drift. Uh, the coach from before told you like one-on-one, -on -one, you don't want to attack like this. Right? And this is why. If you go this direction, he has to drift, 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 but all of a sudden he's going to be stuck. Yes, you will have to go short corner, but it shrinks the court. That's why with the drill that you saw before, we want to encourage our players to beat him and break the paint on the free throw line. We want to break the paint here. And there, come to this. Move up. All right? So when he takes in here, we need to have this here, all right? You're this position, just move up a little bit. Okay, you gotta give him, yes, you're moving up here, and you gotta see, uh, you give him, gotta play out of his shadow, all right? You gotta play out of his shadow, and give him a chance to see ball, make the ball see you, all right? That you give him a chance to, uh, to make that pass, all right? Here we go, let's go. You can uh, attack either direction. You guys just keep the spacing to your next man, keep it simple. For now, let's keep it very simple. Here we go, set him up, up, good. Okay, back. Okay, now we go, now we go, now we go. Up, attack, good, up, here we go, bravo. Rebound, 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 rebound. Okay, stop. Very good example. You did a great job to draw a second defender, so we had an advantage. We created a good shot for a good shooter, advantage, and we had our big man work for offensive rebound, next advantage. So everything we worked for on the switch paid off after. And again, that's the purpose of the offense. Right? We ran the offense to get those type of advantages, and they did a good job to use this advantage. Very good job. Bravo. Switch offense, defense? Yeah, bitte. Um, the, when he drives this direction, yes. Um, he was asking, again, we're getting to the topic of, of cutting. He has to cut. He has to cut if you get too close. Then he has to cut. But I don't want him to cut through. I want him to cut to the short corner. Okay, I don't want him to cut through. Why? Because I don't want to tilt the mismatch here. So be a threat here. Right? You can cut, if you see like a backdoor situation, a back, and you have a layup here, yes, sure, cut, but it's got to be a very bad defense. He needs to, you don't have to worry about anything. You just make sure he drives towards you, you keep the spacing. He needs to be the one to read you. And if, he's, if he sees that you're coming too close, he will start going this direction. Okay? I don't want, if he cuts through, his man is just going to stay here. Now we have the big man here. It's too close. Here at least... If he helps in, at least I have this easy shot. By the way, a mid-range shot again. Uh, so you, this comes up over and over again. We're not going to erase the mid-range shot from the game of basketball. Okay? So that's why, by the way, and you will see this later on, that's why I, I prefer to attack towards the, the one-man side on this switch action. Don't attack towards the two-man side. And in this case, we opened the, the right hand towards one-man side. Yeah, we want to uh, get the... The offensive player, the advantage of using his, his better hand, right, to, to cut through or to, to attack. Go one more time. Go one more time. Then we go to so the next. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Appa, good. Very good. Excellent. Appa and rebound. Bravo. Bravo. Okay, very good. So you teach one-on-one, -on -one, offense and, and defense. At the same time, you teach spacing. Um, and you teach the quick decision-making on attacking closeouts. So now, um, we had this situation this year. We, we had an, an excellent point guard, uh, but he was not a guy who would beat anybody one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and even like when we play very athletic teams, you have Augustin Rubit there, for example, um, he wouldn't beat him one-on-one. -on -one. It's not an advantage, right? So we would give him different options how we could still take advantage of a switch. So let's, let's get into this same situation. I give you two, uh, two options. Uh, that we have. Number one, okay, we have that switch. We use this attack here more as a decoy. You go deep, right? Move away from the two-man side. You attack towards the two-man side and you set a hammer action on the shooter here. And you just drop down here. You, keep, you stay aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Three, three-point line. Here, boom, boom, pass. So we just use this we want him to stand in, right? He's in a position here, yeah? but he's not going to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. We're not going to get the advantage, but we can at least create an open shot for a good shooter. And we would just use the, the better shooter here. This can be a pin-down action as well, 
right? So if, you, if we decide that you are the better shooter, we would have the hammer action flash screen like this. If you're the better shooter, you just get a pin down on, 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 on him and you come up. All right, let's use the, the flash screen hammer action right now. Okay? Here we go. Good, good. Up attack. Good. Yes. Bob, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Huh? We give we can have another hammer action action with the five. So now I want you simultaneously to open up the floor more. So you go towards the one man side, you go through, and you hit him on a flare screen. So you have two options now for shot. You don't even have to beat your man. All you have to do is draw the attention of the next guy. If you draw his attention, you can nail him, you can screen him, okay? What you do if they switch? Slip, bump. Yeah, the, the floor is open because you set that back screen on the other side, right? And you do the same thing here. So you end up here for shot, you end up here for shot. He doesn't have to beat his man one-on-one, -on -one, but I still have an advantage after a switch because we use those hammer action situations and get an open shot. All right, here we go. We switch. You can still see, hey, if you can beat him, beat him, right? So don't have them adjust. Here we go. Bob, drag him out. Good. Here we go. Go, go, go. Up. Hit him. Hit him. Go, 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 go. Up. Good. Very good. Okay. All right. Good. Fall. Yeah. So you also create a little more space. You create a little more space, and you have two more options, and they just don't stand around and space out. Yeah. You have those two options for, for passes, and you can create an open three for somebody else. Let's switch offense, defense. Before I show you one more thing. Here we go. Yep. Yes, good. Good. Up. Ah, 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 ah. Don't be passive. Don't be passive, right? Um, he's very confident that he can stop you one on one. And the more passive you get, the more confident he gets. Okay, the timing is also important here. Yeah, that as soon as your man takes the step towards the ball, this is when you have to nail him, yes, on this, on this flare screen. How do you set the flare screen? Where is the target? Because what you did right now, you, screen, you set the flare screen, and where did you go? You went deep. But you're running right into that next defender. Right? You're running right into him. So why not stopping right here? Stop. So you hit him, he's deep, right? He was there, and you hit him, and your butt always shows towards the target of the shooter. So if you set the screen like this, the target of the shooter is the corner. If you set the screen like this, the target of the shooter or for the shooter is here. And since he's waiting deep, why would you screen him right towards the defender? Screen him here, screen him to this spot. Now he has to make a decision. Now, if he wants to switch out on this now, this would be right here. If you switch out, you have this cut here. Okay? So try to get an angle on him where he actually creates an advantage. Here we go. So you have a lot of things combined. You see that up go, yep, good. Hit him, good, up, good, good. Yes, very good, creates a very good shot. Stop, kill the advantage. Shoot right away, shoot right away. And don't come in here. Why not staying out here? That's where we, that's why we say, uh, we, uh, that's a, a very good example of a mid-range shot we don't want. Uh, we want a three-point shot here. Of course, the pass needs to be more, like, with more fire, with more speed. Okay, but we don't want to come in here unless uh, we have very bad shooting percentage from three and our mid-range shooters. Then, okay. Uh, but we want the floor wide because then you also have more space to attack the closeout. And if, if you're over here, boom, shoot this. We still have mismatch inside. Don't forget. All right, let's go one more time. Let's go one more time. Here we go. Appa, good. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Very good. Very good. Uh, don't forget to also set the flare screen on him. Yeah, do this both, like both at the same time, because your man right now sits in here. And you have, to, you have two options, right? You, you play this just space out, then he drives here, you get here. Yeah? Or on his drives, you set the flare screen. Okay, then you can get him open here. And since he's going to be deep, you can really send him to the deep corner. So you would set the screen where your butt points towards deep corner. Right? Let's go one more time. 
Here we go. Prepare screen. Prepare screen. Prepare screen. Okay. Up. Good. Yep. Space, 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 space. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Stop. He would have been open. You just got to be a little early. From the timing, go again. From top, I'll go with you. So you need to be quick. You know, as soon as he dribbles back, you sprint to the short corner spot. Okay? And as soon as he starts to attack, you're moving up. And you hit him. Boom. And you go deep. Yes. A lot of times, the big man wants to sit in the paint and doesn't want to switch out on the shooter. So a lot of times, you will get this shot more than the other one. Okay, one last time. Try to get the timing right. Here we go. Bear screen. Up, up. Good. Drag him out. Yes, yes, yes. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Up, up. Oh, good. And shot. Bravo. Very good. Very good. Rebound. Bravo. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay. So now we have spacing on the one-on-one -on -one attack. And we have those hammer actions. One last thing. Very common right now. Ghost screen action. Ghost screen action. Give me the high pick and roll action again, please. You see this? Uh, we use this towards the end of the season uh, a lot because, again, we were very limited in beating guys one on one, especially with the lineup we had uh, towards, towards the end. So teams started to, to switch a lot. Uh, you can see uh, you saw Bonn use this a lot, Geilsheim used this a lot, uh, Ulm used this a lot. So um, we have this, this action. Okay. And now, what we do now is that from the two-man side, we decide for the better shooter. And we say, let's say, you're the better shooter. So as soon as he dribbles back, what you do is you, you sprint towards him. You sprint towards him. And you fake the screen. You attack this direction. Be aggressive. And you just slip this out. And you hit him for shot or closeout attack. It's a fake screen action. It's a fake screen action. So you sprint at him, you attack towards him, and if you see that they get sloppy, you can set it once in a while. You need to be spaced, you need to be spaced, but you have to sprint, and you have to attack, and you gotta be ready, and this is where we, you gotta use shooting drills to really teach this, because this is a difficult pass. You're downhill drive, you're making this pass, you're sprinting, you're catching the ball here, you're ripping through and you're attacking again or shooting. You have to work on this. You have to work on this. Okay, go screen action. From the two-man side with the better shooter. No matter who that is. Here we go. Hop, hop, wait. Now go. Go, 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 go. Sprint. Attack, 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 hop, attack. Good, very good. Stop. He was open. Yeah? We just want to make it easier for you to open the lane. Because a lot, they don't know. Switch, no switch. It's very difficult if this is full speed to have communication with the switch or not switch. So why, that's why it's called ghost screen. It's, it's, it's a screen, but it's not a screen. It's a but you need to sprint. And you get in here. And what happened is that you got deep because they kind of were confused. You got deep and he had to help. So in this case, he's open for the shot. Yeah? Here we go. Let's go again. Natürlich, geht von beiden Seiten. Wir nehmen den besseren Werfer. Wir haben gesagt, wir haben jetzt entschieden. We decided he's our better shooter. We go from here. Of course, this can be this guy as well. It's shorter distance. Uh, which is easier for you, for him, but also easier for you, unfortunately. All right, here we go. You make sure you space out then, all right? Good, yep, yep. Papa, attack, 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 very good. Yes, very good. Yeah. You see now, it's not that easy anymore for the big yeah, to stay in front of the guy because you don't know, is he coming, not coming? So you're just, you're playing one-on-one -on -one at the same time, you might have to switch. And then you're from a stationary position into a closeout position here. Or if there's miscommunication, you, a lot of times you have wide open lane for layup. Okay? Uh, switch off and stiffens. Go screen action. And let's, just for, for uh, that we see this also, now we decide you are the better shooter and you run the ghost screen. Okay? You run the ghost. You screw the drills back and he starts coming, you're going. Here we go. Up. Switch it out. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Attack, attack, attack. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah? Um, I think you'll be very successful with this, especially early. Very successful. Because even if the big man can stay in front, he may not be able to communicate the switch action. So we attack the switch from outside, but we're taking a little detour. It's not playing one-on-one. -on -one. We're attacking a ghost screen action. Let's go one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go switch offense, defense. That looked beautiful here. Let's go with the other team. 
Go screen action. Appa, use him, good. Here we go, 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 go. Up, attack, 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 attack. Good. Very good. Keep the advantage, keep the advantage. Stop, stop, stop. Stay, 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 stay where, stay where. Why did we kill the advantage? You were too late and you guys are having a team meeting here. He drove middle. Let me see where you drove. And now we're back to fundamentals. I don't think we're very precise with this advantage. So, okay, he had a closeout. I'll take it. But it takes uh, now a couple more passes. So he drove in here, right? Who was this? Who drove? You drove. Okay. He drives this direction. What do you do? Okay. You're here? Stop. You need to wait here to see where he goes. Because if he drives baseline, where would he go? Yes. If he goes middle, uh, if he goes this way, yes, you go behind him. So you cannot leave. You drove, you kick it out here to the same side, you gotta stop. And now you look at him, what he does. If he goes this way, you go that way. If he goes this way, you go that way. We would always need one guy behind the ball. And what you did, you cleared out, right? Or you stayed here. Oh, you went here? Okay, great. Then you did well. Okay, now you attack. You were middle. Yes, where would you have to be? Yes, you were too late. Okay, where would you have to be? Yes, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now it's easy for him, right? He gets here in the paint. Yeah, you see, like, you, you can use him and see where, where he, he will just adjust to you. Yeah? Pop. You have this position here. The deeper he gets, the further you'll have to come up again, right? Or when he gets like this, further come up. If he keeps the dribble, 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 you'll have to drift again. He comes up, keep the dribble, keep the dribble, keep the dribble. Yep. Yeah, so you always have to move out of his shadow. But these are, like, the, the uh, fundamentals or basics on driving kick. That's what we always start in preseason, that this is automatic, because it, it follows you everywhere, whether you attack a switch defense or um, you get an advantage out of a turnout, post up, whatever. It always comes down to this. And if, if, if you take, if you use or use the offense to create a great advantage and then are not able to keep that advantage alive because you're not spacing properly, that's very frustrating. So you have to start with that. Okay, let's go one more time. Let's go one more time. Be aggressive with the ball. We go with, go screen. Up, good. Go, 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 go. Attack him, attack, attack, all the way. Up, good. Up. Drove here, you can even, like he goes in here, you can see if your man stays over here, if you can go a little bit more behind him. Huh? That, he, that he really sees you. A little bit more, okay? Try to, like really be aggressive. Uh, if you see that they're so sloppy on this, set the screen once. Who was the ghost screener? Set it once. Set the screen once. All right, just got to make sure it's not, a, it's not a moving screen. All right, here we go. Set, let's set it on him. Okay. Here we go. Up. Sprint, 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 sprint. Up, attack, attack, attack. Stop, stop, stop. You had the lane. It's no problem. It's no problem. That's why we do it. Now you saw what happened. He set the screen. He had the drive. Okay, and this is something, uh, we would break this down in two and two. We would do this two and two. Yeah, we start with a mismatch, small against big. We have a shooter, he can come from either direction and set the ghost screen. We just execute two and two. This is where we would have to go back. Um, let's go one more time, let's get a good one. <laughs> Here we go. Very good. Yes, very good. Okay, bravo, bravo. Very good, very good, very good. Any question? Yes. It, it, we, no. we, we really want to, we, like we would bring a, a shooter on this and we want the shooter to attack the big guy on the closeout. We're, like we want to initiate a, a switch or a hard drive. If he rolls, we feel like the court is too small. The court is too small. Yeah, so we have him like sprint towards him and sprint out and open the driving lane for the guard. We want the driving lane to be open. Everything is, it's too, the, the court shrinks too much. Yeah, so we would, we would have him sprint out. And then maybe if he hit him, you attack another, another closer. All right? Any other questions? Do we have any colors, which option you would use? Or 
The ghost screen has a call. Yeah, so we would, like last year, we went just like this. No. Yes, yes. The, the point guard decides as soon as he dribbles back here, it's clear we attack from outside. Yeah? And then they need to get on the same page. You know? The point guard goes back, then the, the big guy steps to short coin and everything starts. Uh, we would go into a game and emphasize on certain matchups and emphasize on, okay, we want to attack them inside first, or we want to, hey, let's not bother about the inside action, let's go attack them outside. Yeah? You guys feel comfortable now attacking switch defenses? So you're going to pick apart any switch defense that comes your way in the next weeks, months? Great. Okay, please have an applause for my guys here. Great job, thank you. Just to, to sum it up, um, and you see when you do this with the, I think on average under 18 group here, right? Under 18, under 19, whatever. Um, that you need a lot of fundamentals, and you see like when you do this, you see what needs to be worked on. You see in certain situations, passing technique against hard hedge, or in this case, aggressive switch. You need to work with the, with the bigs on ceiling, like thinking one pass ahead, holding him off, don't release too early, even the pass out of the dribble. The spacing, we have the advantage, we wanna maintain, keep the advantage alive. So the automatisms of drive and kick, big topic. The technical tools to beat a man one-on-one. -on -one. We have an isolation, you have speed, use some dribble fakes, work on crossover actions, fake, head shoulder fake, hesitation, different crossover styles. Yeah? This timing, use uh, shooting drills. If you wanna use the, the ghost screen, use shooting drills, which use the ghost screen. So you have the same angles, you work on getting in here, throwing a pass, boom, attacking another closeout with the coach here, for example, or catch and shoot, or here, like after this pass, have another coach here, go for handoff, shoot here. There you can be creative, but know why you run this drill, know what the purpose of this drill is. Last chance for questions. If we have some more time, I don't know, um, I could show you a, a warm-up drill that we use, because drills no, come up, that we use to work on uh, spacing and the automatisms of attacking this switch. Is this of interest or you say, I've been in this gym too long, I don't need to hear your voice anymore, let's go home, that's fine. I have a thumb up here, do I get a thumb down somewhere? <laughs> thumb up here. Okay, uh, give me 12 guys, please. Uh, I need two more, I need two more. And give me three groups. I will always want one guard, like one ball handler who feels comfortable pick and roll. Colors don't matter right now. Uh, one big and then two wings, okay? Uh, get together, like, uh, give me three point guards. Who are three point guards, quickly? Three, one, two. Okay, get a big and get two wings quickly. And then I need one group out here with the basketball. One group out here, point guard, wings, bigs. Uh, get one group down here. I need two basketballs. One basketball here on the wing, behind the, right, one over here, and two guys waiting here, like the big and the point guard can wait under the basket here. And the same thing down here. The same thing down there. Please get a, uh, two guys on the side, on the wing, quickly. So we have 12 guys now, right? We have four guys waiting down here. We got four guys here, we got four guys down here. Four guys down here, quickly. We have one point guard, we have one big man, and two wings. Quickly, make up your mind. Two basketballs, one here on the side, one here on the side. We need a one on, out of bounds, out of bounds. You're, you're out of bounds, behind the three-point line. One more ball here, quickly. So, where's the second ball? Where's the second ball? Okay, wing here with the ball, out of bounds. Second wing here with the ball, out of bounds, quickly. Big and guard here under the basket. I'll tell you in a second what we do. No, you just need one. So, this is my first group. You're out of bounds. Out of bounds. Behind baseline. Baseline, 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 baseline. Okay, baseline. Where's the baseline? Back here. Okay. This group, you're going this, this way, four and zero. 
After they're done here, you're going this way, four and zero. After they're done here, you're going this way, four and zero. That's the organization of the whole thing. All right, now what we do, fast break. We have an outlet pass. So big man, you get the ball, right? Outlet pass to the, to the point guard. We run the floor, fill the lanes, one on the, one on the right, one on the left. We want the point guard. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, you win. Stay. Stay. We have the point guard who we want in the pick and roll situation. Okay? Or we can have the wing work on the pick and roll. It's your decision. If you hit a hit, yeah, you just cut, you just leave, hit a hit, hit a hit, you just leave. You the trailer, you the pick. Okay, you will set the screen. And now you space out, get through, get through, get through. And now we're in this situation. We have elbow pick and roll action. Right, with elbow pick and roll. So what we do, we, we tell them, okay, on the first one, I want you to use him. We want to attack inside. Okay, so here, you throw it directly, or you go hit a hit, and with one more pass and throw in here. Pam, pam. Okay, throw in here. You score. You were not involved. You take a corner shot, corner three. Pass him, no, no, from him, from him, from the guy out of bounds. You pass him. And you, you sprint out here, you pass him. And as soon as those two guys shot, the big man takes the ball here. Now you take that ball, you throw the outlet to the point guard, point guard, you get it. The wings already take off and we do the same thing down there. Can we do this? Okay, let's go this direction first. Let's go this direction first. Where's the pick? All right, where's my pick? Where's my pick? You're, you're the pick? All right, you're the pick. You're the pick, make up your mind. All right, point guard, be ready to get the outlet pass. Wings, be ready to take off. Ready? Here we go. Up, up, throw it out. Up, up, good, clear, up, prepare screen, prepare screen, good. Up, 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 finish. Two shots, pam, pam. Okay, you're going, you're going. Big man, get the ball, give them the ball, outlet. Go, 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 up, hit it, hit it, hit it, up, leave. Prepare screen, up, look at the pick, look at the pick. High, high, finish, good, two shots, here we go. And go, and go, up, go, 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 go. Hit it, cut. Up, good, up, look at the big, stop, 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 stop. And now stop, stop. Now you really have to insist on details. You saw chest passes here to the big, all right? We saw where we waited with the ball in our hands for the screen. Everything needs to become natural. So don't allow them to create bad habits. And that's the problem with drills like this. You have so much going on that you might have to correct everything. If they're not that far, don't use this drill. Take a step back. But we actually do this uh, with the BBL team. We use this drill for different variations. I will tell them, okay, uh, first screen under, second screen switch, attack inside. Second round, hard hitch, short roll, uh, attack with shooter. Right, so we would give them boom, 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 and they would have to execute. Okay, and then we'd have to, the big man and say, okay, they call out the defense, he calls out hard hitch. Then he knows, okay, boom, hit ahead, bam, and, and so on. Right now it's only switch, so we use this only to work on switch. Okay, we had one round already? Okay, now on that, on that next round, we attacked inside now. On the next round, I want a high-low pass attacking inside. I want a high-low pass from inside attack. You guys figure it out. Ball is here, ball is here. Where's my big man? Where's my big man? You're the big man, you get the rebound. Wings are ready to start. Point guard is ready to get the outlet pass. Here we go, up. Let's go, let's go, up. Go, 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 hit a hit, hit a hit, hit a hit. Lift, 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 lift. Up, up, good, up. Stop, 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 okay. <laughs> I wanted more the, the, like, yes, retreat. It's hard, boom, you step back, you have him come up for, for the high-low in this situation. Yes, get, get this high-low. Go, so what I want here, huh? Up. Okay, you got up, we have soft hedge. Yeah, we have soft hedge, we have soft hedge. You keep the dribble, keep the dribble, keep the dribble. Nobody there, nobody there, nobody there, pop. Yes, you come up, boom, boom. Okay. All right, let's go one more time. Let's go one more time. Hit him with the flash. Here we go, up, up. Good, up, yes, keep the dribble. High low, pop, hit him, hit him, up, up, high low, good. And finish, good, two shots, here we go. And go, 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 where's the point guard? Up, up. just take the ball. Up, hit a hit, keep running, good. Yes, here we go, up, good, keep the dribble, keep the dribble, keep the dribble, hop, hop, good. All right, technique, pam, pam, last group, here we go. Here we go, create angles, create angles, create angles, create angles. Here we go, up, cut, cut through. Yes, prepare screen, where's the ball screen? Here we go, up, good, yes, okay, pop, up, 
face. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Okay, if you want to give them a better angle on this, we would say, okay, the first screen, like this drag screen, they go under. So we have rescreen, and then you have a better angle for the high-low. Okay, but we go to the next. Now, I want the, the point guard now to run the pick and roll. And I'm going to add one more wrinkle to automi automize, 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 yeah. uh, the drive and kick action, especially uh, the, the one guy coming from the ball side action. So what I want now is point guard, come here. We, start this, we do the same thing. But now you hit ahead. And if you hit ahead and he drives, you cannot cut through, right? You're still here. He drives, you feel behind him. You keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. You kick back. Okay, but now you clear out because you see the drag screen coming. Okay, and now you play the pick and roll. And what I want now is that we attack from outside. Okay, you're coming up. Pop, okay. Attack from outside, you go deep. And we go hammer action. Hammer action, yes. So you attack this direction. Here, set him up for the screen pop. Attack here, set him up. Hit him, boom, for shot. Who's getting the shots? He's getting a shot. You're getting a shot here. You get rebound. We got this? So we go drive. Yeah, he drives. Point guard, you read this. He drives. You cannot cut through. Right? He drives. So we already have one element of fast break spacing. He drives. You stay behind him. Boom. Hit him back. You see the pick and roll coming. You clear out. Yeah, it's not driving kick like we had before. Then you would come out his way. We got this? All right, here we go. You hit a hit. You hit a hit first. Let's go this direction. Let's go this direction. Here we go. Let's go this direction. We're going here. Up, hit a hit. Hit a hit. Hit a hit. Drive, drive, drive. Go behind. Good. Very good. Up. Good. Up. Here we go. Good. Hammer action. Up. Okay, stop. Timing. Just a little bit. Yeah, give him time first. You look inside, then he comes back. And once he gets back and he starts with, with the first, yes, this is when you're going. All right. Keep attacking here. Start down there. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Up. Yep. Pop. Hit him on the shot. Boom shot. Shot here. Shot there. Shot there. Shot there. You're taking the ball. Outlet to the point guard. Ankle. 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 Up. Hit ahead. Hit ahead. Drive. 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 Good. Stop. Stop. What do we want our big man to do? The big man doesn't stop. Right now we have no second pick. Right? We want the big man on the drive still to get to a tanker spot. So don't let him off the hook and get lazy. He drives. You get in here. Because we don't want your defender to help, and you're out here on the three-point shot, unless you're a, a stretch pick. Then you can stay outside. Okay, you follow. And now you already have a good angle and good timing here to sprint for the screen. So you kicked it back, and now you sprint for the screen. You're going out. You're preparing. Okay, now we got it. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up. Good. Timing, timing, timing. Step back. Step back. Here we go. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down here. All right? Go down here and stay in the short corner. Here we go. Next group. This way. Off gets. Up. Up, hit a hit, 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 drive, 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 hoppa. Good. Pop, good. Hoppa, good. Don't pick up the dribble, don't get passive. Two shots, two shots, two shots. One here, one there. Here we go, next guys, next group, next group, next group. Up. Where the wings, good, hit a hit, hit a hit. Up, drive, get behind, yes, good. Up, good, yappa. Timing, 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 come, 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 come. Yep, good, hit him. Very good. Up, two shots. One here, one there. Very good. Next group. Off gets. Up. Pop. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Drive. 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 Attack. 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 Very good. Very good. Up. Good. Yes. Good. Up. Yep. 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 Attack. Good. Very good. Bravo. Okay. Stop. Very good. Last action. We go for hammer. Ah, uh, for, for ghost screen. And I want you guys to communicate who's going. So you guys pick the better shooter to set the ghost screen and you hit the guy on the ghost screen or you go all the way to the basket. Right, don't start fighting over that shot. Ready? We're going down there, let's go, up. Same thing, hit a hit, hit a hit, hit a hit, drive, drive, attack, attack. Stop, okay. Uh, one more thing, I forgot this before. And this is important that you really use this drill to work on fundamentals. I want this guy to drive, to score, and I want paint touches. So he did it well. I don't want you to go here and, and pass back out. I want you to touch the paint. Get in the paint. Get in the paint. We need our guards to be able to get paint touches. Get in the paint. 
Okay, so we want him to get in here. Okay, did well. Here you catch it, you're ready. Once you catch it, you're ready to attack close out and by this, prepare the screen. Because if your man is doing a sloppy chop, you might have a layup already. We don't even have to need to wait for a switch. Here we go, let's continue. Up, we go, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. No, 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 no. You keep that dribble alive, right? You keep it alive. If he hits a hit, he'll get it back. All right, drill back, drill back, drill back, drill back. You step back, step back. Short corner, short corner, short corner, yes. Here we go, now you sprint, here we go, attack, 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 attack! Oh, always attack direction of where he's coming. Yep. All right? Ready? And go, up, pop, attack, 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 pop, paint touches, here we go, up, shot, one, two shots, sprint out here, get the shot, here we go. Let's go, let's go, next group, next group, next group, up. Hit ahead, hit ahead, hit ahead, hit ahead, hit ahead, don't, hit ahead, hit ahead, pop, good, up, up, good. Up, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Attack, attack, attack. Good. Hapa, shot. Good. One more two. Up. You just keep going through here. You just find him. Find him for the shot. Just run through. Run through. Yep, good. Up. Get him. Good. Yes, good. Yep. Here we go. Good. Hapa, attack. Good. Very good. Spacing. Good. Yep. Two shots. Here we go. One, two. Last group. Here we go. Last group. Hapa, up. Here we go. Up. Hit it. Hit it. Quicker, quicker. Hit it. Good, Papa, good. Space, 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 space. No, 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 what do we wanna do? We wanna do, go screens. Go screens, here we go. We go one more, you go one more group. Okay, here we go, up, go screen, go screen, attack, 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 attack. Good, here we go, two shots, two shots, two shots. Last group, last group, we do one more. Let me see a good one here, let's have a good one here. Let's have a good one here, push, 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 up. Hit it, up, drive, stop, details, stop. He drives, where would you be? We gotta get to the corner. Guys, I know the topic is switch, attacking switch, but if we do a drill like this, do it correctly. You need to get your wings to sprint, so he cannot stop here. If he starts driving, we need a guy here. This is the most important spot in basketball when it comes down to spacing. The weak side deep corner, the most important spot in basketball for spacing. Deep corner. So when he drives near, you gotta be here. All right, now when he makes that pass and comes out here, you're lifting again. But you gotta go down first. All right, let's go again from half court. Go from, from half court, go with, the, go with the hit ahead. Here we go, up, let's go. Go, 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 be down there. Here we go, here we go, good. Here we go, up, good, up, yes, good. Go, 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 drift, 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 yes, 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 very good, very good, up, and shot, bravo. Here we go, here we go, here we go, okay. Good job, guys, bravo, good. I think this was one step too much for now, uh, but I wanna give you a, uh, an example, and they, they're gonna get better at this. Uh, just important that you don't see too many uh, things that where they are sloppy at, right? because it's a combination of, you can then, okay, add, uh, being precise on outlet pass, being precise of the transition pass, being precise on how we attack, get those paint touches, being precise on making this pass. There's so many elements that need to be put together uh, that you have to correct everything. And if you see it's gonna get too much, you have to break it down. But again, this is a drill that we like to use uh, to keep our guys uh, like speed, work on fundamentals, and you can use then all type of defenses. You, know, you call out hard hedge, trap, uh, uh, break down four on four, how we would attack this defense. Very last chance. Uh, any questions? Okay. In this drill, no. No, in this drill, no. Um, I would use, if, if I want to use this as a, uh, with defense, I might do this four against four against four. But this is really like, um, this would be the, the first basketball part um, before the uh, active stretch, right? Or maybe even after. Uh, so after the... the, um, the you could. I, I don't do it. Uh, you, could, you could put coaches there. Uh, to, to pick out a certain element, like for example on the ghost screen, you say, okay, let's have a coach here, a coach there, and you've got to hit the coach on the ghost screen, or you want to focus on, on the element of the drag screen, then have a defender here, 
Uh, or you want to focus on the seal on the high load and have a defender on the guard who would switch on the pick. Uh, you could do that. Uh, do it with the, with the coach um, or, or yeah, pick players, but you need 12 players for this drill uh, to have a good flow. If you have 14, you might have, yeah, then put two defenders out there, then they don't get bored. It's a possibility, sure. That's what I mean. Now, be creative. Just because I don't use a defender doesn't mean it's not good to use a defender. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take your idea and next year we'll use defenders. If it doesn't work, I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know it's been a long day for you guys. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope one or two ideas will stick with you. You can, you can use. I hope you guys can take one or two, maybe three ideas uh, from, from this session. And um, yeah. Think about it the next time you're facing switch defense, call out for ghost screen and your opponent's gonna look like what the hell they just they just did. Thanks again for you guys. Good job. Very good. Too. Wow, good job.